प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट दी बेल आईकॉन टू स्टे अपडेटेड टू माई लेटेस्ट वीडियो वेलकम टू आर टूटोरियल ऑन मास्टरिंग फोटोपी the ultimate web based photo editing tool whether you are a professional graphic designer or just someone who loves editing photos photobee has everything you need in this tutorial we will walk you through the basics and some advanced features of photobee so you can create stunning graphics and images effortlessly let's get started let's start by exploring the interface You will notice that Photobee bears a striking resemblance to Adobe Photoshop, offering almost all its features but in an online cost-free package. It is an online advertisements-based tool that you can use without paying a single penny. One of the most remarkable aspects of Photobee is that you don't even need to sign in to start using it. However, if you want to save your work online and access additional features, you can sign in using your Google, Facebook, GitHub or Microsoft accounts. So let's click on login button here and then you will get all these options to sign in through your Google, Facebook, GitHub or Microsoft account. In the free package, you will get all the options and a 0.5 GB P drive. In the premium options, you will also get all options. There will be more capacity for the P drive that is 5 GB. You will get no ads in the premium option and 3000 AI credits per month. 2x more steps in the history. If you find yourself needing more capacity and want to enjoy an ad-free experience, you can upgrade to a premium plan for just five dollars per month. Now let's touch upon the versatility of Photopea when it comes to file formats. You can edit various file formats such as photo files, Illustrator, InDesign, Figma, Sketch, PDFs, and of course standard image formats like JPEG, GIF, SVG, PNG, TIFF, and many more. Photobee also has its pre-designed templates. So you can start a new project, you can open a pre-existing project from your computer, and you can also use the templates. You can install Photobee on your desktop if you want. Otherwise, you can just use it online. So let's explore the templates available in Photobee. Here you will discover a wealth of pre-designed templates to kick start your project. Within the template section, you will find various categories to choose from, catered to a wide range of design needs. Whether you are looking for mockups, social media templates, cards, resumes, certificates, banners, presentations, and more, Photobee has you covered. So let's select any template here. Now you can just edit this template according to your needs. You will see all the layers at the right hand side, as you can see. If I disable any layer from here, you will see the changes in the graphics. Once you have selected a template from the library, you will have the freedom to customize it to your heart's content. All templates come with all the layers and editable elements, allowing you to tweak every aspect of the design to suit your requirements. All right, so now on the left hand side, you will see a sidebar where you will get different options to load or import the files. You have various options here to import the files from your device, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, or any other shared drive. Additionally, Photobee provides a P drive that provides a storage space for all your projects. Moving on to editing, when you click on new project, you are presented with a range of templates to choose from. Alternatively, you can start from scratch by defining your project dimensions. You can select any template from here and you can just add the width, height, DPI and background color here and just create a whole new project here. Now let's click on any one of these templates. You will get all the layers here and you can edit them accordingly. On the left toolbar, you will find a treasure, trove of Photoshop tools at your disposal. Let's run through them. You will see Move Tool, Selection Tool, Lasso Tool, Magic Wand, Crop Tool, Eyedropper, Healing Brush, Paint Brush, Clone Tool, Eraser, Gradient Tool, Blur Tool, Dosh Tool, and Burn Tool, Text Tool, Pen Tool, Path Selection, Shape tools, zoom tool, hand tool, quick mask or color panel. 
it's worth mentioning that these tools and the toolbar itself are a full copy of Photoshop. They function in the same way, so if you have used Photoshop before, you will feel right at home here in Photobee. Layers Panel In the Layers Panel, you have across to all layer options. Double-clicking on a layer allows you to apply effects such as bevel, emboss, overlays, gradients, drop shadows, strokes, and even 3D effects. Now let's explore the menu available in Photobee each offering a plethora of editing and customization options. Edit menu. In the edit menu, you will find all the Photoshop options including transform, such as a scale, a skew, rotate, distort, and warp. Moving on to the image menu, here you will discover all the options to edit your image size, brightness, contrast, color tone, saturation, and even canvas size. It's your one-stop shop for fine-tuning your visuals. So let's click on the background, click on the image menu, and now you can just adjust the brightness very easily from here. You can just change the hue and saturation. You can just also set the color balance from here. You can also put different photo filters just by moving this progress bar and click OK. So there are many options you can just play around. Next up, we have the Layers menu, which provides you with all the layer features you would expect from Photoshop. From organizing your layers to applying various effects, this menu is a powerhouse for layer management. Now let's talk about the Selection menu. Here you can explore different methods to select an image or object, giving you the flexibility to precisely target specific areas for editing. Now the Filter menu. Here lies a treasure trove of Photoshop image filters, including 3D, blur, distort, noise, render, sharpen, pixelate, and many more. Get ready to unleash your creativity with these powerful effects. For example, I will just select the background, I will go to the filters, and then I'll just apply any filter from here, such as a stylized. Let's click on stylize and click on diffuse. Now you can just click on OK, click on Filters, click on Noise, and click on Add Noise. Now you can just select the amount, and then you can click on OK. So just like that, you can apply different filters from the filter menu. Moving on to the View menu, here you can switch between different view layouts, such as Fit the Area, Pixel to Pixel, Pattern Previews, Zoom In and Zoom Out. Last but not least, we have the Window menu which gives you all the details about the different windows and panels available in the Photopea interface. Much like Photoshop, you can easily manage the opening and closing of these panels to customize your workspace according to your preferences. Now, what are the additional features? Lastly, don't overlook the additional options such as language selection and themes. Photopea supports around 50 different languages, making it accessible to users worldwide. You can customize the interface to suit your preferences, enhancing your overall editing experience. From the file menu, you can save your work as a PST. You can also share your work as a PNG file, JPEG file, or PSD file, or you can also export it in different file formats. So this tool is compatible with all the file formats and all the graphical software such as Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, Figma, and many more. So there you have it. You are now equipped with the knowledge to master Photopea and create stunning graphics and images. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned pro, Photopea offers a comprehensive set of tools to bring your creative visions to life. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.